time for a neighborhood community shout out. Yay! <coughs> Please don't mind me. I'm still a little sick and I'm still very emotional. So I'm going to try and get through this without coughing, losing my voice, or crying. So let's see if I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't edit it all out. But. I'll try. If, if there's a lot of edits in this, you'll know what happened. <laughs> First off, I'd like to thank everybody, everybody, for the tremendous outpouring of love and support that we got from um, our last video, We've Been Suspended. Um, there's a lot of people that want to write letters or send emails and stuff and unfortunately you know if we do that I have a feeling YouTube will just shut us down completely and we want to be able to keep vlogging for you guys so we don't make money for three months oh well as long as we're here and we're able to continue to vlog and continue to make you guys smile and laugh. That's what's important to us. Okay, we got a lot of new people to welcome to the neighborhood because of so many people coming out of the woodwork supporting us on this. People who watch but don't comment. Yeah. Felt the need to comment. Yeah, and, and, and uh, we appreciate it. I hope I get everybody's names right. Missy Harris, welcome to the neighborhood. Evie BXXB, welcome to the neighborhood. Jessa J, we already welcomed her to the neighborhood, but I want to give her channel a shout out because she's got an awesome channel. Go by and check her out, guys. Preston, P R E S T O N N N, welcome to the neighborhood. He also asked, How can he get us a gift card? Um, quickly other than through the mail. Um, right now, that's the only way you can get us anything probably is by mailing it to our P.O. Box. Nobody, please do not send any money through fan funding. They have frozen our fan funding as well. I, I don't think you can send us money yeah, through fan funding. Yeah, anymore. they've frozen that. We have money there and we are trying to figure out how we can get that because they're holding that as well. Diamond and I, welcome to the neighborhood. Tina, Bina. Bina, welcome to the neighborhood. Melissa, Buell. Buell, welcome to the neighborhood. Belinda Aubrey, welcome to the neighborhood. Wow. L A C R E. -C. Lucretia. Lucretia Taylor, welcome to the neighborhood. Crystal Dawn, welcome to the neighborhood. And Michelle Casas, welcome to the neighborhood. So welcome to all of you guys. Thank you for coming over and showing your support. We hope you guys stick around and we hope you enjoy watching our crazy videos. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, my question the other day is... What is one fear you would like to overcome? Explain. Okay, and we had a few different ones. Um, we had Angie Lupus Life, Vincent Gutierrez, and Terry Johnson all would like to overcome the fear of public speaking. Melody Mainville, fear of bridges. I pray every time I go over a bridge, I've seen too many natural disaster videos where the bridge breaks and falls. Living in California? Yeah. We've had earthquakes out here. Um, I forget what year the big one was. And the whole earth, the, the, the bridges just fell on top of each other. And yeah, scary, scary, scary. I don't blame you there. Kill a few trolls, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong type of trolls. Bella Luna. I'm afraid of birds. Let me read you this. I am 50 now, but when I was two, my family went to the river and I was running on my mother's shoulder. Shoulders. A pigeon got stuck in her 
tall red beehive hairdo, someone said to grab me and put me on the ground before removing the bird from her hair. At one point, I was afraid of dead birds, feathers, the whole raw chicken for cooking. Dead now bird. I'm okay as long as I avoid a the Avery at the zoo. Yeah. I would be afraid of birds too at that point. I'm just surprised you remember being two. So. <laughs> Dougie style. Uh, fear of driving in large cities. Bambi S is the fear of the unknown. For example, having to go to the doctors and get tests and having to wait for those results. And then once you get the results, the trial and error of medications. Yeah, Val is can, it going to work? I can understand that yeah. one too. Yeah, big time I can understand that. Is it going to work? Is it going to cause this? Is it going to cause that? Mm-hmm. Yep, I can definitely relate to that. Glittering the sky. She has a fear of driving, period. And she's always had the feeling that she's going to die in a car accident. And she didn't change work because of this reason, because where she works is only five minutes from her house. That'd be nice. So that that's, you know, pretty scary to live like that, having that fear all the time. But pretty cool that you only work five minutes from the house. So it does make it a little bit easier on you. And the Abyss, 92882, he has two separate fears, but he would have to overcome one to overcome the other. His first one is the fear of heights. And he would have to overcome that to overcome the fear of roller coasters so he can get onto a roller coaster. So, pretty cool. Roller coaster. My love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roller coaster. <laughs> okay. So, what is a fear that you have that you would like to overcome? I would say, and, and I don't know if, if um, this is the Doug E. Styles uh, one. Um, we live here in the suburbs, and anytime I have to drive into L.A., it is uh, kind of frightening because, and I think it's normal to be <laughs> frightened to driving in that in LA traffic. Those people are crazy. I mean, when you're, when you're not just parked, which uh, at rush hour you are, uh, they're just flying through these streets, and it's just nuts. You have to know the the streets really well to to uh, overcome those fears. You can't really talk to Kevin when he's driving in that type of a situation. You can't even really have the radio on or anything. He has to have complete silence so he can really concentrate. <laughs> yeah. I don't drive anymore. I don't drive anymore. I guess um, my fear, um, and, and maybe I'll overcome this. I don't know. My fear is driving, period, because... I'm on so many medications for so many of my illnesses that it makes, I get very dizzy a lot. And I've actually, when I was driving, I would have to pull over. And there would be times that I would call him and say, you know, you've got to get somebody and come and get me because I can't drive. Never. So that's a fear of mine. And maybe after I have my gastric bypass surgery and I can get off of a lot of these medications that I'm on, maybe I'll be able to drive again. Who knows? So since this shout out's been so long already, I'm not going to give five channels to shout out right now, but I am going to give one channel a shout out. I started following them on a Periscope yesterday. They are also paranormal investigators, and their YouTube name is Paranormal Prophecy. I will leave a link to their channel. Awesome group. Loved watching them Periscope yesterday. Um, just go by and check them out. They're awesome. They're awesome, awesome, awesome. And my question for today, for those of you that do drive, or those of you who drive in a car with your parents and your parents don't want to answer this question. Have you ever been stopped by a police officer? Pulled over by a police officer? No, they couldn't catch me, man. <laughs> there you have it. There's your question of the day. It's time for...
neighborhood community credit roll. Okay. Beep, beep. Hmm. Okay, so today's trivia question is on George Romero's Diary of, Dead from Diary of the Dead from 2007, and it had a whole bunch of cameos in it. And not everybody, not everybody actually saw. A lot of them were just radio uh, people. They actually used pieces from the television and radio from Night of the Living Dead, the, the original. But these are the people who actually appeared, maybe just as voices. Quentin Tarantino was in it. Stephen King, Simon Pegg from Shaun the Dead, Guillermo del Toro, Wes Craven, George Romero showed up in it, and Tom, Tom Savini. So, and those who got that right was Terry Johnson, Jess Lucero, Bambi S, and Greg Meyer. Woo oh. <laughs> I'll teach you. Alright, so today's set, um, Trivia question is on a movie you probably haven't seen. I think it went direct to a DVD. It's called Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. And it's one of those bizarre things where it's supposed to be a camera crew who's on a basically following a serial killer around. So it's kind of a tongue in cheek, you know, it's let's make fun of the documentary style of the whole thing. So a serial killer invites a TV crew follow him as he decides who's going to be dead. That's the, that's the, uh, the premise of the story. It's got some interesting people in it. It has pretty good uh, uh, reviews on it. And it has some references to, since it's about serial killers, it references a whole bunch of other movies. What are they? I don't know. There you have it. There's your trivia question for the night. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up, and we will see you all tomorrow.